Uh, welcome to uh, Chapter 2, Basic Transistor Operation, uh, primarily a holistic type of view where we're looking at sort of the whole as opposed to all the individual components and the, the nitty-gritty details. We're going to look at basic transistor operation. Uh, as you may not be aware, early transistor circuits were PMOS. Uh, basically all the polarities were upside down. It gave us predictable threshold voltage and, and things of that nature. As processing technology improved, uh, basically the NMOS transistor became available. And further advances in processing led to the combination of both N and P type devices and that became our CMOS technology. So the NMOS transistor, the one that we're going to look at is the enhancement mode. Uh, the basic structure of an NMOS enhancement type transistor includes a P type substrate. The uh, transistor has to sit somewhere. And then there's an N plus source, an N plus drain, and an N plus gate. Uh, between the source and the drain, there's the region called the channel. And there's an insulating layer between the channel and the gate. So it's called the gate oxide or gate dielectric. Um, on top of the gate oxide layer, there is a polysilicon layer. That's in quotes because it's not really polysilicon so much anymore, which serves as the gate terminal. So it's usually alloyed with a metal to form a silicide to reduce resistance sort of as the source and drain would be, uh, very low resistance. With the gate voltage, VGS equal to zero, the source and drain of the transistor are separated by a P-type region. So the current from the drain to the source, IDS, is very small and basically limited by a reverse bias, di reverse bias current of, of one of the diodes that would be formed. Here's a sort of a, a schematic cross-section of a planar type of uh, uh, MOS device. Here you have the source, the gate, and the drain. Um, this is the the uh, uh, substrate where the transistor is sitting. And these are the conventions that are used if you were to measure this type of device. The VGS would be positive and VDS would be positive. So in class assignment 2.1, uh, why does current not flow in the circuit as shown with VGS equal to zero? Okay, so you should be able to answer that by figuring out that one of those diodes present there is going to be in reverse bias. And uh, you can also then answer a follow-up question, why is the terminal called the source? Or you could say, why is one of those terminals called the drain? So as VGS increases positively, um, this is more or less correct, it's not 100% accurate, but electrons are attracted into the region under the gate between the source and the drain. The electrons in the region under the gate increase the conductivity between drain and source. That part is actually true physically. And uh, this is the picture we're looking at here. So we applied a, a slight gate voltage uh, and we started to uh, attract electrons under the into the channel area. So as VGS exceeds a threshold voltage VT, a channel, this is now an N-type region for the NMOS between the source and the drain is formed. And that's called, it's called, at that point in time, the, the material there is called in, inversion layer. So basically it's as much N-type there as it would have been P-type in the bulk and current can then uh, flow from the drain to the source. So when there's no voltage on the gate, the, the NMOS uh, transistor is normally off, no channel. And important to note that for an enhancement type uh, mode device, normally that's, that's what it means when it says normally off, the gate voltage is required to enhance the channel or to turn it on. So you need to apply a gate voltage to turn it on. That's why it's called an enhancement type device. Now this is not important and we won't talk about it any further, but perhaps in the past you've learned about depletion mode devices. They're normally on and then you basically uh, put a voltage on the gate to, to deplete the channel. So this is the NMOS uh, transistor enhancement mode characteristics. This is the IDS, so the drain current versus the gate voltage. And you can see there's a region here when you're increasing the gate voltage where the, the uh, uh, conductivity in the channel change, changes dramatically. You get a threshold voltage, let's say approximately 0.3 volts, uh, upon, upon which the current will increase even further. So this is well above the threshold voltage and this is below it. This is sort of the operating points of the device between these two regions here. Um, if you take a look at uh, a linear scale, IDS versus VGS, you'd see that above the threshold voltage, you get a linear fit between IDS and the gate voltage. Um, the enhancement mode device is the most common VLSI CMOS technology, and uh, as I said before, the depletion devices really won't be discussed any further. The PMOS transistor is uh, the one that we're going to talk about is enhancement mode. It's the counterpart of the NMOS. The basic structure of the PMOS enhancement type transistor is an N-type well, perhaps in the P-type substrate, is P plus source, P plus uh, drain, and these are in the N-type well. Uh, between the source and the drain, there's a channel. 
and there's an insulating layer between the channel and the gate. So it's a gate oxide or gate dielectric. If you learn the P, uh, N type, the P type comes for free. So again, uh, continuing on here on top of the gate uh, oxide layer, there is a polysilicon layer which serves as a gate, or polysilicided layer which serves as a gate or even a metal gate. When VGS is equal to zero, the source and drain of the transistor are separated by an N type region. So the current from the drain to the source, IDS is very small, limited by the reverse bias current of one of the diodes. So if it sounds like deja vu all over again, that's because it is. Here's the cross-section now of the PMOS transistor in enhancement mode. Uh, it's not hooked up like this on a chip. Make a note of that. Here the, the source is tied to ground. VGS would be negative. VDS would be negative when you, uh, when you go to make measurements on this type of device. So, uh, this is how it operates. As VGS increases, this means negatively, so the magnitude is increasing, and that's with respect to the source. The holes are attracted to the region under the gate between the source and drain. Holes in the region under the uh, gate increase the connectivity between the drain and source. As VGS exceeds, again negatively, a threshold voltage VT, uh, a channel, uh, basically a p-type region, is formed in the n-type substrate between the drain and source, and current then flows from the drain to the source. Uh, since there's no voltage on the gate, uh, the PMOS device is called normally off, or I should say rather when there's no voltage on the gate, uh, the PMOS device is off, and that's what's called why it's called enhancement mode again. Uh, you basically re require a gate voltage uh, to enhance the channel in order to turn it on. So this is the way the, the IDS uh, VGS characteristic would look, and you notice it's in uh, not in the first quart quadrant anymore, it's in the third quadrant, and this is sort of how it's referenced when people do measurements on it. But as I pointed out before, that's not how it's hooked up on a on a circuit, and will you know translate the voltage and current such that uh, everything will be in the first quadrant. Uh, take a brief break at this time, and be back shortly.